a few minutes with us too. Hey, what a day we got coming up. Tony Falk, Reggie B. Fine. That's right, Reggie B. Fine back in uh, opening tag team action coming up here today. Brian Christopher, Wolfie D, a couple of guys that have... Well, they've had some problems on that team, uh, but uh, they're booked today as a tag team in action. We'll have them here a little bit later on. The Dundees, Bill and Jamie, also in action coming up today. And the Colorado Kid will be going against Mike Samples. That ought to be a very, very good match. Unified World Champion Colorado Kid coming up later on. And Trailer Park Trash. I think you know Trailer Park. He's been around a couple of weeks. Well... He's got his work cut out for him today. He is going to be going against Psycho Sid. You stay with us. We're going to be back with opening tag team action coming up in just a moment. Action News 5 has all the tools to bring you the best newscast. But at Action News 5, we know it's not just the equipment, it's the people who use it. People who know how to dig past the headlines. People who know their way around the Mid-South. People you trust. So when you're ready for all of today's news, turn to the people with experience. Real life, real news, real leadership. That's Action News 5. Coverage you can count on every day. Don't gamble with your car insurance. Make the sure bet on a winning hand from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. They're dealing straight with savings up to 50% on your car insurance. For low monthly payments on your car insurance, call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. Join us for Bountiful Blessings, broadcast originating from the Temple of Deliverance Church of God in Christ on WMC TV 5. Jesus said, who is my mother, my brethren, but those who do the will of my father? In other words, he said, I've got another relationship that's greater than my earthly relationship. I've got another! Join Bishop G.E. Patterson each week for an inspirational message of hope at 10 a.m. Sundays on WMC TV 5. Memphis, the Great Pumpkin has arrived, and so have hundreds of the U97 Chevys at both Guatney Chevrolet locations. Through Monday, it's Guattoberfest weekend, and truck buyers' new 97 S10s with airbag, ABS, power steering, and more are Guattoberfest price, just 10988 Top new 97 work trucks with automatic and air, dual airbags, ABS, and more, just 15988 And Guattoberfest weekend means big savings on remaining new 96s, savings up to $8,000 at Guatney Chevrolet on Covington Pike and Guatney 2 Airways in Winchester at the airport. Well, I'm joined here at the uh, commentary desk by the king, Jerry Lawler. Is, uh, is you, know, right here. you know, Dave, the response has been so great to me being out here with you. And uh, the letter has poured in, and so I am yeah, back. Letter. No, wait, I'm, I meant letters. The letters have poured in, so, you know, I'm back to just to make sure that the commentary is, is right down the line, the way it should be. I'm sort of like devil's advocate. Know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, all right. Hey, look, who's back? Reggie B. Fine, I love Reggie. Reggie B. Fine is back. Speaking of Reggie B. Fine, Court. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 hey! Their opponents for Reggie B. Fine and Tony Falk have showed up with the uh, snake there. Sean Venom and Bart Sawyer. Let's go to the ring right now for Corey Macklin and the official introductions for this match. Corey? All right, Dave, we're ready for action. We've got tag team action here on the USWA. Introducing, coming in at a combined weight of 506 pounds, wrestling from Dallas, Texas, Tony Falk. His partner today from every woman's dream, Reggie B. Fine. And their opponents today, a combined weight of 425 pounds from the snake pit. Sean Venom and his partner wrestling out of Portland, Oregon, Bart Sawyer. Al Count Bruno is referee. One fall, 10 minute tag team action. Over to Dave Brown and the King, Jerry Law. All right, ring the bell. Here it comes right here, and we're underway. I don't, know if, I don't know if you had an opportunity to see it. I don't know if they had it on camera. But once again, the Sean Venom, Sean Venom character comes out here with a snake. 
Yeah, he's had that snake with him every time. I know you're not too happy about it, and I, I know a lot of folks aren't too happy no. about it. But he has it safely secured no. in that bag, and he carries it around in. Look yes. at Bart Sawyer. My goodness. He's run them both out of the ring. Reggie B. Fine and Tony Falk both run out of the ring by the fast, flashy action of Bart Sawyer. You know, I don't mind a guy like Bart Sawyer who, obviously, let's take a look at him. Uh, you know, look at how short he is. The guy, the only thing he's really qualified for being is maybe like a desk clerk at a roach motel or something like that. But what he does is he goes out and he works real hard to try to make up for the lack of size that he has. Yeah. But on the other hand, the Sean Venom character, look, he's even shorter than... Then Bart Sawyer, the only thing he does to make up for his like is go out and get a big snake, a big 15-foot-long python and drag it around with him. Well, he's got the snake safely secured in the corner. Let's see how Sean Venom can work in the ring here, as we have seen him before, and he has looked pretty good, let me tell you. Snake or no snake. Look at that. He dumps Tony Falk over his back. Comes in with a drop kick. Didn't get as good one as Bart Sawyer did a few moments ago, but he got the job done. There is Tony Falk out of the ring, down on the floor, not climbing back Reggie through. wants a timeout. Time well, Reggie always wants a timeout when things are going bad. Reggie does take the tag. A little surprise there that he didn't, uh, you know, have a phone call on his cell phone or something that he had to answer since things are not going well right now for the team of Tony Falk. And Reggie B. Hey, look, look, now see, you see what Bart Sawyer's doing over there? He's holding up that bag with that snake in it. He knows that Reggie and probably just about everybody is deathly afraid of snakes. Do you like snakes, Dave? I'm not too fond of them. you want to handle a snake? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't either. Armbar by Sean Venom. Did you hear that? Yeah. Reggie said he smelled like a snake. Well, the snake now put back in the gun. Reggie, Reggie immediately left. He said he doesn't like snakes. Well, you're not alone there, Reggie. I'm not kidding. A lot of folks don't like him. There you go. Now he's, now he's got him under control. Head off the turnbuckle. Sean Venom in some trouble as Tony Fox trying to take control of the situation. That was a clean move. Open hand. I, I, it looked like he got him with the thumb in the throat to me. Nice clothesline. Picture perfect. Talk about all those great drop kicks. You know, that's a high risk maneuver. What, what's that, Reggie? <laughs> uh -oh, look out, look out. Trying to put the sunset on him, and it didn't work. Tony Falk, that was not a legal move. That was a fist to the forehead. Reggie said, We're going to beat the snake out of him. <laughs> you got to love Reggie. As the tag made, Reggie will be coming in. Sean Venom having a tough time here with these two guys all of a sudden, and that's one reason why. Well, that's a boot to the rib cage. You know, Reggie must have watched the uh, Kansas City Chiefs game the other night, and he tried a little punt there. Yeah. The only thing in the Kansas City Chiefs game it was legal. Oh, he barely watched Roberto yeah, Alomar too. He spit at Bart Sawyer. <laughs> this could be it right here. Hit him. You know, that's the only thing there. Well, finally, Reggie, come on. The only thing I disagree with about, about with Reggie's uh, tactics here. You know, he likes to showboat a little bit. He's proud of himself. But he had a chance to put the guy away early there. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Reggie went in too quick. Sean Venom was gone, and Reggie B. Fine pays the price. He's reaching for a tag. He's got it. Here comes Tony Falk. John Venom gets the tag, too, and here comes Bart Sawyer. Tony trying to get out of his way. Fell yes. over himself. Look at this. Everybody's in the ring. It looks like some cheat going on there. All four of them in the action. Oh, Venom yeah. thrown over the top rope. That should be a disqualification. Referee didn't see it. Mark Sawyer working on Tony Paul. Reggie B. Fine. Yeah, there's something illegal. Doubling up on him. We need something illegal. Pound him. Reggie Pound him. holding him while hey, Tony Paul uses a fist. Come on, ring the bell. He's got that snake out. Reggie! Venom does have the snake out, and he puts it across. Reggie B. Fine. And the referee has called for the bell. I'm sure this, uh, the snake's going to be uh, counted as a foreign object in the ring. And Sean Venom and Bart Sawyer are probably going to be disqualified for it. Uh, meanwhile, Reggie, yeah. Okay, disqualification, that's what it is, the official ruling by the referee. 
Something is wrong. What do you mean something's wrong? Sean Venom. Get that snake out of here. Get that snake out of here. He's fainted. Get that snake out of here Reggie, uh, Reggie said he didn't like the snake. Here comes some more help. Mike Samples and uh, Trailer Park Trash coming out. And along with Tony Falk, we're going we're to get Reggie out of here. Wake him up later. Even the king over helping out. Now Mike Samples giving the referee a rough time about it. He did all he could do. He saw the snake. He disqualified the team. He, he uh, acted properly in the situation. Let's uh, let's go to Corey in the ring right now. Hey, I tell you what we want to do over here. We got Mike Samples and Trailer Park Trash. And let me tell you, you guys have a couple of bouts that are coming up in the USWA. You're going to be facing Sean Venom, and I'm sure he's going to have his friend along with him on Bart Sawyer. <laughs> yeah, you think that's funny, don't you? And all the people out there think that's real funny. I clipped this out. I was going to read it later in the show. This came out of USA Today, and I want to read it if you don't mind. I don't know if they can the camera get a little shot of this to show that it, I'm not making things up, Corey. I'm not like you. You understand? Oh, boy. Let me, let me read this. This has happened in New York. A young man preparing to feed a live chicken to his 44-pound pet python was killed after the 13-foot long snake apparently mistook him for food and coiled around him. Rescue workers managed to free the 19-year-old, and I won't read his name, from the snake's grip, but he died an hour later. William's mother said she begged her son to get rid of the snake, but he said that he and his 17-year-old brother hoped to make careers out of taking care of big snakes, which are becoming increasingly popular as pets. You can't have a wild thing like this, a reptile, a snake, and let them be involved even as a pet. They will, it shows right here, they ate the man, the owner, the man who had been taking care of it since it was probably that big is dead because of that. And you want this guy to come out here and throw his snake on me and the likes. Look, Reggie B. Fine may not recuperate. It's, it's well known, Corey Macklin, that since I was a child, I've had a great phobia or fear of snakes. I don't like snakes. I don't like to be around them. I don't like to be around the people that's around them. You understand? I don't even want to be in this ring after that snake's been here. I'm deathly afraid of snakes. Shut up, all of you. And Trailer Park, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. by the way, that's a nice shirt you got on there. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. You know, my new bowling shirt. Bowling just got going on. New season started. Take a look. What do you think? Take a look at that, huh? Get the camera. Look at that. That's a nice shirt, ain't it? Got my new shirt. Ah, the guy. Hey. Get up. Hey, come on. Ah. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more from the USW. Oh. Ryan Christopher and Wolfie D still to come. Two, one, don't blink. Sky Racers, incredible airborne radio control vehicles. You build an amazing neon network and control your Sky Racer with a powerful remote. Use your grappling hook and retractable rescue transporter. Sky Racers go anywhere! Fast! When it comes to speed, the sky's the limit! Sky Racers from Cap Toys, each sold separately. Serious damage to your engine can happen during startups when your engine is cold. So for a motor oil to protect your engine, it must get to work fast. Exxon Superflow Synthetic Blend does. It also protects better against thermal breakdown, yet is less expensive than full synthetics. A difference you can see. Exxon Superflow Synthetic Blend. Protection beyond conventional oils. Hi, Dave Brown here with Joan Golden. Ms. Golden, I understand you had a new roof and some other remodeling done by Mid-South Builders. I sure did, and I was so pleased, and I wouldn't trust my home with any other company. What about financing? Financing was great. No money down. Payments that you could afford. They paid off some of my bills, and the work was just great. I loved it. I wouldn't trust any other company but Mid-South Builders. For quality workmanship and the best financing, call Mid-South Builders, 366-7282. Check their reputation with any agency.
That was very scary. What's really scary is missing this Covington Pike Chrysler sale. Look at these tremendous savings. 96 program Sears, automatic air and more on sale for just $13,995. Only $13,995. 96 program Grand Voyagers on sale with automatic air and more from $16,995. Don't miss this sale. Well, the crowd getting on the king a little bit here with the uh, chant that has become very popular any time he's around. We're what, gonna... what is that now, Dave? What do you mean by that? Well, you, heard, you heard what they're saying. What are they saying? They're saying Burger King. Oh. And they're going to get a Whopper, too. I guarantee well, you that. Just keep it up. Listen, we've There'll got other... no fries with that either. we we got other things to talk about I here. I might fry somebody, I'll tell you that. Well, that's... That, listen, let's talk about uh, this situation with... Brian Christopher and Wolfie D, they're booked as a tag team here today. Still got problems on that team, though. Who's trying to prove who's the leader? Let's go to Corey right now because I see him coming into the area. Okay, thank you, Dave. Hey, I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. We want to talk to the team of Brian Christopher and Wolfie D, as you've just said, Dave. They're uh, having a time right now, a battle trying to determine who is the leader of this tag team. We're going to get them up here and talk to them before uh, we see them in action as they will be in action right here today on the USWA. Wolfie D stepping up on the ring apron and making his way around with them two sexy Brian Christopher. Hey, what is the deal on this, Corey? Here's these two guys at each other's throats. Now they're going to be pals again today. What's the deal? Come on, give me a break. Well, that's what I mentioned there as uh, they were headed to the ring. They've got problems between them, but booked as a tag team. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do here now. We want to talk to you guys about some bouts that are going to take place coming up this week. But first of all, you guys are against each other half the time. Half the time, your partners are it's just, what in the world is going on? Well, Corey, I wanted this match today. I wanted us to be tag team partners today to prove to everybody, like I said, I am the leader of the team. I am the man who wins the matches just like last week. Wolfie, you know it. I beat, the Dundies. On, I beat the Dundies last week, and I'm going to win the match tonight. Shut your big mouth! To show it Shut to your you. mouth! Oh, you know what? Go, you know, I forgot my saddle today, but if you want to go ahead and jump on, I'll carry you through this match too, big boy. I'm going to show you today. I beat the Dundies last week, and today I'm going to win this match here today and prove to you that you're the one that rides All it. Right, hey, I'll tell you what, what I just told you just before. Get out, today, get out there and let me start. Let me do this. I'm, I'm going to beat both of these guys. You get out. I'm just, I'm sorry. Well, we got a match coming up and these two are going to be partners. You two are partners here today. Everybody knows that I am the better wrestler than Wolfie D and you know that and today I'm going to prove it right here by winning this match. You know match. what you're going to prove That's is it. that you're good at standing in the corner. Oh, here we go. We've got tag team action one fall, a 10 minute time limit. Boy. Introducing, coming in at a combined weight today of 502 pounds from Little Rock, Arkansas, Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker, his partner out of Atlantic City, New Jersey, Tony Myers. Well, their opponents today, wrestling from the hood, Whoopi D. And his partner in the USWA Heavyweight Champion out of Memphis, Tennessee, too sexy, Brian Christopher. And Dan Bernal, the official referee. What? Over to Dave and the King. All right, thank you, Corey. Soon as we get the signal from downtown Bruno, we're underway. One reason these two guys still get together and uh, wrestle as a team is that they still have their eyes on the USWA tag team titles. They would like to be tag champions, so they are able in uh, the matches to put their differences aside for the most part and wrestle as a tag team. They're still held up, and uh, you know the Dundies. I'm sure. Let's. Let's make a little side wager. Well, I guess we can't do that on TV. No, we're but not going to do that. I put my money on the Dundees. These two guys are squabbling. They're at each other's throats. They're not going to be able to function as a team. Well, I'm not sure I can disagree with you totally on that because uh, we all know what happens when uh, teams do not work together as a team. And that certainly is, as in the last couple of matches, it's been very difficult for Brian Christopher and Wolfie D to put their personal differences aside. 
You know, that, that, that is one thing that uh, Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee were able to do right. and become such a uh, formidable tag team. They were able to put the personal differences aside. We'll see if it works for Wolfie D and Brian Christopher. Let's see here today. Well, what you got here with Brian Christopher and Wolfie D are two huge egos. I mean, each one of these guys, you know, well, you can't well, say anything bad about Brian Christopher because you're talking about the man he loves. And the same thing with Wolfie D. You know, when he checks out of a motel, three days later, the mirror's still warm. I mean, these guys love themselves. Let's face it, all they want to do is come out here and please all of these moronic fans. And you know what that gets you? You know what that gets you, Dave? That gets you nowhere. Nice guys finish last. I found that out, and the sooner one of these guys find it out, the better off they'll be. Well, I, I heartily disagree with that. I think uh, Wolfie D, and, and back when he and uh, and Jamie Dundee were PG-13. Now look, look I, at this. I think it was the fans that put them over the top. Look at this, Brian no. Christopher's demanding a tag. Wolfie won't tag. Oh. Each one of these guys want to prove to the other that they're the leader of the team. Wolfie D dropping down with the upper arm. <laughs> Look, he's, he's shining like new money, and that is really making Brian Christopher hot. Well, he's yeah, and he's being effective. Now, Charlie Parker rolling over to the ropes, wants a tag. He's over close to a neutral corner, though. Tony Myers can't take a oh, legal tag Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Wolfie D's down there showboating, holding his hands up. Brian Christopher slapped it, and that counts as a tag. Brian Christopher, now the legal man in the ring. Tony Myers is in for his team. I don't think Wolfie D will get tagged back in. Well, you're right. Both of these guys trying to prove that they are worthy of leading the tag team. Can you imagine if while they can't settle their own differences, while they're concentrating on trying to prove who's the better man, a team like Charlie Parker and Tony Myers beats Brian Crisler and Wolfie D. It could happen. It could happen. That would be great. Tony Myers whipped into the ropes. He goes by. Brian Christopher leaps over, sets him up, rolls him down with the arm. That ain't too impressive to me. Well, it's impressive in that Brian Christopher is in control. Uh-oh. Ow! Snaps him down. Now see right there if he wants to. Probably pin the guy if he wanted to. But all he's interested in doing now is showing up Wolfie D. You know, this is a comment that I have made for years and years. When you have your chance to get the three count, you better take it. Uh-oh, watch this. Oh, Boom, right fist. Don't like to see that, Brian. He doubled the fist up. I don't like to see it because he didn't need to do it. <laughs> he was in control anyway. But, oh, over with a kind of a shove at Wolfie D. He said, hey, watch this. Oh, Wolfie D says Wolfie that's, D a said that's a tag. Wolfie D says that's a tag anytime they make contact. And the referee, is the referee going to allow it? Yeah, he is. He says, okay, that last thing was a tag. That is two. Wolfie D now the legal man in the ring. Whoa, power bomb. No, it wasn't a pile driver. Power bomb. Uh, exactly. I thought you said pile driver. I'm sorry. Look at it that. wasn't look, a power Look at this. Bomb. Look at that. Brian Christopher what? just... He just saved Tony Myers. Yeah, he did, and that is the kind of thing that's going to get that tag team in trouble right there. I mean, Wolfie D probably had the three count, but Brian Christopher broke it before he ever had the chance to get the three. DDT. That's it right there. That's two, but again, Brian Christopher breaks it up at the count of two. A power bomb and a DDT. Wolfie D probably was not able to get the three count. I can't believe that. Two times he had the man pinned, and Brian Christopher makes the save. Oh, super kick! There's now a Brian cover by Christopher Brian, the and here comes Wolfie returning the favor. Brian cost him a three count twice. Whoa, hey! And oh, oh, now look out! These two get into it. Referee is going to stop the match because we've got a battle going on between Brian Christopher and Wolfie D over in the corner. Yeah, they go, are just going at each other like a couple of kids on the yeah, school yard. Go. Wolfie D, Brian Christopher have turned on each other. Tony Myers and Charlie Parker leave here. Oh, look out. There's about 25 Whoa. people out here to help break these two up as finally the egos got so far in the way that they turned on each other. I love it, Dave. <laughs>
They've got them backed away from each other now. Oh, spinning across the ring. Come on. Uh, and these guys have still got to be partners. Man, I really hate to see this. They've got to be partners and try to attempt to win the tag team title. Well, they don't have to be partners again here today because this match is over. It was stopped by the referee. They've still got them apart. Wolfie D trying to get away. And again, he's backed away into a corner. They're holding Brian Christopher back. What we need to do is to find a way to get him out of here. While we do that, we're going to well, look out. Brian almost gets away. They've got him. They've still got him separated. Let's take a break. There's lots more to go on USWA action today. The Dundees will be along in just a few minutes. Is it home improvement time at your place? If so, turn to the Mid-South's home improvement leaders, Curlow Construction. Let the professionals at Curlow cover your home with beautiful, easy maintenance siding. Next, let's install energy efficient tilt sash replacement windows. They're easy to clean and beautiful. Call this number for a free, no obligation home improvement estimate. And with no money down and 100% bank rate financing, now's the time to call Curlow Construction. At Curlow, we're improving Memphis, one home at a time. What has the models this year looking so happy? Is it the new fall look? Insiders say no. Blame those smiling faces on Dave Thomas, Wendy's founder, and his new grilled chicken sandwich. It's absolutely smashing. Bigger, plumper, and juicier than ever. With this all-white meat filet, the girls have found a delicious chicken sandwich they can enjoy today. And still fit into that size six tomorrow. Dave, what's new for spring? Well, short sleeves are always nice. Fabulous. Try Wendy's new plumper, juicier grilled chicken sandwich. Welcome to CNW Auto Sales and Salvage. We specialize in the lowest price and the best service on all glass and column repair. Motors, rotors, starters, radiators, front caps, all at the best price. I'm Easy Money. I'm Jam and Joel. Without a question. We're your Pars Connection. Let, Let us hook, hook you up. up. Hi, I'm Wanda Cat, owner of CNW Auto Sales and Salvage, and I'll pay you cash for your old junk car. We crush the competition! Hi, I'm Suzanne DePriest, General Manager of All Star Chevrolet Geo Polaris, Mississippi. What do you look for when shopping for a new or used car or truck? Price, selection, maybe convenience? Well, at All Star, we can take care of all of these needs, plus another very important one, follow through. You see, I want you to be happy, and that's why the entire staff at All Star takes the time to listen to your needs and follow through with the service you deserve. We're located at Highway 78 and Craft Road, just five minutes from Memphis. I promise you'll like the way my family does business. the walking pup. She's soft and cuddly, and she cuddly. walks like a real puppy. She's the pup that loves to cuddle. She's the pup that wants to <laughs> travel. She's the pup who loves to snuggle. I love Tuggles. She's Tuggles. Tuggles the walking pup walks without batteries from Cap Toys. Who else? So you want a great meal, but you're on a budget. Don't let that get in your way. Get the $2.99 Homestyle Meals at Mrs. Winner's. Choose from the two-piece variety meal with new herb roast or crispy fried chicken, the three-piece famous breast strip meal, or the country fried steak meal. Each comes with homestyle whipped potatoes and gravy, creamy coleslaw, and a freshly baked biscuit. And each is just $2.99. So roll on over the $2.99 homestyle meals at Mrs. Winners. This portion of USWA Championship Wrestling is brought to you by Bill Blake Auto Insurance. Okay, we're back. David, listen, I want to take just a second before you guys talk about what's going to be taking place down at the big one Monday night to talk for just a minute to one of the fans out of the audience. Just pulled him right over here out of the audience just a second ago. I want to talk for a minute about the WCW matches that were in town this past week, right? I told everybody about the matches. I tried to tell you, but you didn't listen. All of you didn't listen. And I heard Tony Schiavone on there saying, we've got the biggest crowd to ever see wrestling in the history of the Mid-South Coliseum. And you were one of those people. You were there at the matches, weren't you? Sure was. Now you tell me, 
You saw, you looked at the Mid-South Coliseum, which holds, by the way, 11,500 people. They said they had the biggest crowd ever there. How many people would you say were there? Total. I'd say about 6,000. About 6,000. That's funny. Place holds 11,500, 6,000 people there. They say biggest crowd ever. Wrong, right? Okay, second of all, look, we got a guy here in the audience. I don't know if you can get a shot of, <clears throat> get a shot of this guy right here. What do you got on his shirt? What kind of shirts he got on? NWO shirt? Okay. When you went down to WCW matches, did you see anybody with USWA signs or King Lawler signs? They didn't have signs. They were taking the signs as they walked in. Wouldn't let them bring them in. Oh, so they took the signs away from the fans there, right? Matter of fact, you got it. Matter of fact, you're a King Lawler fan. You had a crown with you. What did they do with that crown that you tried to take in? They wouldn't let me in at first. I had to go out second time, and they ended up letting me bring it back in. Okay. I did have it there. Okay. Now, let's talk for just a second. We're going to wind this up here for just a second. How were, you just tell me your general impression, how were the matches? Very disappointing. Very dis It wasn't what it was built up to be. The people, the top names didn't wrestle. The top names didn't wrestle. Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, all of these guys, they didn't even wrestle. Ric Flair didn't wrestle. Macho Man didn't wrestle. They didn't wrestle. You know, WCW, that stands for We Can't Wrestle. Obviously, huh? We Can't Wrestle. Let me ask you this. They come back. Would you go again? No. Thank you, my friend. That's all I want to know. But now I want to do this one thing. I want to make one earth-shattering announcement out of the pocketbook of the king right here. You see this right here, pal? Out of this pocketbook right here, right now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell anybody else that went to the WCW matches, you bring your ticket stub to the big one Monday night, and I'll buy you a ticket to the USWA matches Monday night. You bring the ticket stub from the WCW matches, any families, anybody that went out there, you bring the ticket stub to USWA matches at the big one Monday night, you get a free ticket courtesy of the king. How about that? Would you two cheapskates pull a stunt like that? Huh? All right, I'll see you there Monday night. What? Well, well, you're talking about, I think that's a good idea. That's, that's uh, deal, yeah, definitely. bring the family out. Let's go. Monday night wrestling is back. That's right. At the Big One Expo Center. Not only that, special things going on there. You can meet all the uh, USWA superstars at the food court beginning at 6 o'clock. And there's going to be a special one-hour video presentation of some classic Monday Night uh, Wrestling memories. Oh, boy. And they're going to choose some fans. Gonna, the audience is going to be involved there Monday night. Uh, guest announcer for a little bit of it. Yeah. Uh, a guest timekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and guest judges. Now, I'm not exactly sure how the judges are going to work out, but uh, anyway, we'll find out. We'll I guess find the Big out. One Expo Center sounds like fun. And look at the card. Opening match, Stephen Dunn is going to be there. Uh, the uh, uh, Denny Cooley will be his opponent at the Monday Night Rumble. Super Mario will be going against Tony Falk in a single match. Too. Then we'll have that tag match, Dave. Uh, you heard earlier I was talking to Mike Samples and Trailer Park Trash. They're not too excited about getting in there with Sean Venom and Bart Sawyer. That's a tag match that uh, we'll look forward to Monday night at the big one. Mike Samples pleading his case over and over again about yeah. not being in there with that snake, too. USWA tag team title match. Belts are held up. Well, we've been talking about this one, and you saw what happened just a moment ago. I, I'm really disappointed in the way this situation has developed with Brian Christopher and Wolfie D. I don't know if they're, frankly, going to be able to, to uh, be very effective against uh, Bill and Jamie Dundee. Bill and Jamie, of course, uh, the tag team champions until the belts were held up. But they will be going against each other, and the winning team will be USWA tag team champions. But that's not all. There is going to be a special referee in oh, this yeah. match. Special referee signed for Monday night at the big one. The boy from New York City. The Boogie Woogie Man, handsome Jimmy Valiant. Handsome special Jimbo. referee in that match coming up Monday night at the Big One Expo Center. Handsome Jimmy will be the referee. We're looking forward to that. Boy, I'll be right there. We're going to be buckled in, ready to see him <laughs> down there Monday night, Dave. Colorado Kid defends that unified title. He's got a tough task Monday night. He'll be putting the title on the line against Sir Moe. And then the special challenge match, Brian Christopher against Wolfie D. Uh, if you remember from a week ago, uh, that challenge was made, oh, and yeah. they said, yeah, we can wrestle as a tag team. We can get the job done. We can get the tag team titles. But then I want you, and then we're going to see who is the leader of this team. We're going to see who is the better wrestler on this tag team. Well, again, I don't know if it's going to affect the tag title match to the uh, point that they can't be effective, but that is going to be the special challenge match coming up. 
the Monday Night Rumble. Got a big battle royal schedule down there, too. It is going to be a big, big night of action as it returns. And I just happen to notice there that the date at the top is wrong. It is Monday night. Re returning to Monday night. Monday night wrestling. It, we tried it on Thursday. We tried it on just about yeah. every day. And a fan said, we want Monday we want night Monday wrestling. Back. It's been that way for years. And we can remember to be there at 730 and know we're going to see some great wrestling action. That's right. And that's the way it's going to be this Monday night at the Big One Expo Center. Monday night is October 21. We hope you will uh, be there. And don't forget that offer the King made. Huh? Hey, what about the plea from Lawler? Yeah, that uh, bring the ticket stub and he buys you the ticket. Now, I tell you what, especially with that Brian Christopher Wolfie D situation, you're going to see some wrestling down there Monday night at the mm -hmm. Big One Looking Expo Center. We've got, uh, oh, handsome Jimmy Valiant. Yeah. We mentioned going to be special referee during the tag team title match. We had hoped to have him here today. But, you know, it's, sometimes it's kind of tough to keep Jimmy going this way all the time. I don't know I don't know where he is, but he did call, and he said, I can't make it to Memphis right now, but let me talk to you a little bit, and I'll be there at the Big One Expo Center coming up Monday night. So by telephone, here's the interview with handsome Jimmy Vay. Handsome. I come rolling into Mifo, TWA, tell all the ladies, handsome Jim is on his way. Oh, man, that boogie woogie man feels good. Hey, baby, Monday night, this Monday night, the big one, Expo Center, you're going to see, you know, Monday night wrestling, just like apple pie and ice cream. Monday night wrestling, just like beer and peanuts. I want to tell you something, I am the special referee, Bill Dundee, you put your hands on me, baby, I'll knock you lights out and also i'm gonna be in that's right i'm gonna be in the big monday night rumble you know this is my type of match hey baby i'm a street fighter oh mister hey they're gonna be going to fall i'm a hotel jubilee blood's gonna flow like white people brother sister be there well there he was i got most of that i think yeah. handsome Jimmy Valiant and the Dundees are out here. Hey, before we talk to you guys, before we talk to you guys, we've got this special video look at handsome Jimmy Valiant. Watch. the special referee at the Big One Expo Center this Monday night, handsome Jimmy Bang. Monday Night Wrestling back at the Big One and handsome Jimmy Vaillant is back special referee in a tag match Monday night. You know what's so amazing to me is you talking about the boogie woogie man, handsome Jimmy Vaillant. He'll probably boogie woogie all the way out of the ring and forget to count one, two, three. Brian Christopher and Wolfie D, how are they ever going to beat the Dundees when they can't even get along, Corey? 
They're not even friends. We're brothers in love. We are father and son. We're blood, man. And there's no way they will beat us with God as a referee, man. You got that right, Corey. Let me tell you something, brother. You ever heard the old saying, blood's thicker than water? Well, egos is in the way here. Wolfie D, you can't beat time with a stick. And Brian Christopher, I'll beat you when you was a punk kid green behind the ears. And you ain't gonna, they're running around, who's captain of the team? Well, we all know who the captain of this team is. There's no captain. We just come in and beat you when it's time to do it. Now, let me tell you something. Handsome Jimmy, boogie woogie man. I didn't particularly care for you when you run around here a few years ago, having everybody fooled that you was a nice guy. Cause you're not a nice guy. You're a snake in the grass. And if you think you're coming in here to take the belts off Jimmy Dundee and Bill Dundee, you are wrong. Cause Wolfie D and Brian Christopher ain't getting along. You're not no peacemaker. You know what this would be? This would be like the Dallas Cowboys going to the Super Bowl and Troy Aikman's yeah. not talking to Emmett Smith. You would never get nothing done. Well, Wolfie D, I hate your stinking guts and I'm taking you out. And, and Brian Christopher, we don't care if it's you. What do you think of that? And handsome Jimmy, you better not show up. Monday night at the Big One Expo Center, it is going to take place. And you're looking at the next tag team champions. Titles are held up, USWA titles are on the line. Brian Christopher Wolfie D taking on the Dundees, Bill and Jimmy Dundee, special referee. Handsome Jimmy Valley on Monday night. Still to come, we've got a unified world champion, Colorado Kid, Psycho Sid Vicious. Got a long ways to go. We'll be back with more from the USWA. We'll be back to it. How can I get through to you? I want the world to know that Hyundai is a whole new enchilada. But would you listen to me? No. But you listen to the Jackulous 1996 car book when they tell you that Hyundai is one of the lowest preventative maintenance costs in its class. Got your attention now? I think so. Then concentrate. With $1,000 cash back, the Accent is the most affordable car in America. Okay, are your minds finally open? <laughs> now, are you ready to get in and drive this baby? Get in the car, now. Rooster going in for lunch at usual destination. He's not stopping. He's changing the route. Boom, boom. No one can resist Arby's 96 cent regular roast beef sale. Arby's famous slow roasted beef. You top yourself with our tasty sauces. Arby's 96 cent regular roast beef sale. It won't be around long. Two, one, don't blink. Sky Racers! Incredible airborne radio controlled vehicles. You build an amazing neon network and control your Sky Racer with a powerful remote. Use your grappling hook and retractable rescue transporter. The Sky Racers go anywhere. Fast. When it comes to speed, the sky's the limit. Sky Racers from Cat Toys, each sold separately. Will you have to lose your job or hit your child? It doesn't have to come to this. What you doing? I'm sorry. If you think you may have a problem with drinking, you probably do. Get out, get out. Do you try to out. stop drinking but can't? Lie about drinking? Suffer memory loss? Lose control? If you have a problem with alcohol, call Charter at 1-800-CHARTER. If you don't get help at Charter, please get help somewhere. Ready for tag team action, one fall, a 10 minute time limit. First introducing a combined weight of 411 pounds from Millington, Tennessee, Charlie Lair. And his partner from Cordova, Tennessee, Tony Williams. Their bonus is combined weight of 414 pounds. Wrestling from Australia, they are the former USWA tag team champion. Here is Jimmy Dundee and his partner, the superstar, Bill Dundee. Downtown Bruno, referee, over to the desk now, Jerry the King Lawler and Dave Brown. Thank you, Corey. Warm-up jacket's coming off. Signal from the referee coming up, and we're going to be underway. Dundee's have to be considered a heavy favorite in this match, but don't count out this other team. Tony Williams has a lot of heart. 
He wrestles strong. Back and can make those ring introductions any longer. Thought he was watching Gone with the Wind. Just introducing all the individuals. To get all they need to introduce were the Dundees. Who cares about those other two jerks in there? Charlie Loser and Tony Williams. Bill Dundee saying it won't take long. Well, we'll see. Right. Charlie Laird has his left arm hammered up behind his back. Hey. He rides Jamie Dundee down to the rack and match a mat. That reverses it on. Got the hammer on his arm. You got your tongue wrapped around your eye tooth. Couldn't uh, see what you were saying. Got very excited there because Bill Dundee has just said this won't take long. Whoa! Hey, look at that. Charlie Laird presses him down to the mat. The shoulders are down one. I don't even know why Jamie Dundee is allowing that idiot to make one offensive move. The only offensive move Charlie Laird should be allowed to make is when he gets in the ring. That's offensive enough. Then you should just ground him and beat the fire out of him. Look at this. Tony Williams took Jamie Dundee's feet away from him. All this is doing is instilling confidence in the Kofi D and uh, Brian Christopher. Well, I think there's some truth there. The Dundees Look at this. are not invincible. No. Look at Tony Williams go. Yeah, yeah Jamie, something ain't right. Jamie right, Dundee. Man. Come on. Something ain't right, he says. Well, both of the Dundees doing, are down here. Come here, Bill. You guys are making these idiots look like superstars. You're the superstars. Come on. I think the opponents have something to do with that, you know? Tony Williams and Charlie Laird looking very good in the early going. How long it take me to beat Charlie Laird and Tony Williams myself by myself? About 30 seconds. Tag is made. Here comes Charlie Laird back in. Come on, Duddy, get focused. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now we're cooking. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you get down to business, Dave. Charlie Laird coming off the ropes. Double team, yeah. <laughs> Dundee's taking forever to get one man only in the ring and get the other one out on the apron where he's supposed to be. Taking forever, they got a count of five, Dave. And they took at least a count of 25 what? there. What? Oh! Look at Dundee with that right fist. I mean, he's not even trying to hide it from the referee. He just Why took a should swing. He? Referee sent him oh. back to the corner. That's that's correct. But hey, how about the Dundees over here, Bruno? Send how about him out of there? Five count. Well, oh. more than a five count. Well, speaking of count, there's one, two. Yes. He got Charlie there. That's the three Very count. Good. Let me go up here and congratulate Bill. Right, go right ahead. Congratulate him on double teaming. And therefore, the team on their team, we really gave him a battle. I mean, I think you've got to give it to uh, Charlie Laird and Tony Williams for the effort that they showed here today. Yeah, they lost the match. They lost the match. The Dundees are going to get the victory. But there they go, the Dundees and the Kings celebrating the great victory. My goodness gracious, it's Randy Hales. Randy? Randy is uh, Randy Hales on a leave of absence here. Randy, you've been on vacation, it looks like. And uh, my goodness, this is not the way we're used to seeing you. are used to seeing him in a coat and tie here. You doing all right? I'll get into that in just a minute. First of all, Dave, the reason you hadn't seen me here this morning is not a person in this world knew I was coming today. I just walked in the door. You say I'm on a leave of absence. Right. Why don't you tell the people out here today why I'm on that leave of absence? Tell the people why I'm on that leave of Well, well I, I don't want to get into that. That's, that's not place to talk about it, Randy. You know, you know as well as I do it isn't, Cor No, Corey. Uh, How about you, Bruno? I don't know. Come on, Randy. I, to be honest, I, I don't know. Randy. Everybody listen to me. I know there's some trouble. Let me just say I'm glad to see you again, but let's, let's talk about it. Dave, you know, I thought this would be just like this because everybody back in the back behind closed doors in your weather office, what you do is you tell what's on your mind. Then when you come out here, you don't tell the truth. You're the company line. You protect everybody. But what I'm going to do today Everybody listen, I'm going to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth and I'm going to expose a lot of things that's going around here. I'm going to expose oh, a lot come of things on, about Randy. this company. Dave, too. what is it? Randy. Dave, Rick. what I have to say is that you know it and everybody here knows it. 
that from the time I was 10 years old, I wanted to be in professional wrestling. Everybody thought it was a joke. Everybody thought I didn't have a chance at all. Everybody thought it was funny, but I fooled them, didn't, didn't I, Dave? The reason I fooled them is I worked harder than anybody. I worked my brains out day in and day out. Yeah, you and did. Quite frankly, I was smarter than everybody else, and I became, from a 12-year-old kid selling programs to the person for the last four years been running this company, the highest-rated TV show in the country is this show. Is that right? Yeah. The only wrestling company that showed a profit the last three years is what company? This company. That's exactly right. And while I've been doing all the work, you know what's been happening? Let's talk about other people's contributions in this company. Let's well, it takes a lot of people. You're Let's right. Talk. It's taken me for three years, only me, and everybody knows it. And I'm telling people here. Now, let's talk about the owners of this company. Let's talk about the owners of this company sitting in that big mansion on that big hill in Hendersonville. You hate them, Dave, just like everybody else, but you don't have the guts to say it. They drive their BMWs, right? They drive their Mercedes. They buy their yachts. Then what, how do they, how do they do it? The reason they do it, Dave, is that they're spending the millions of dollars I make for them in this company and they don't share it with anybody else. How about Eddie Marlin? Stay away from me, Corey. How about Eddie Marlin? What is Eddie Marlin doing? Have you seen Eddie Marlin lately? No, now listen, there. And you know as well as I do, there have been some health problems at Eddie's family. No, the truth of the matter is Eddie got old and fat and lazy. What Eddie Marlin does, he sits on his couch. He sits on his couch. His wife sits on the other couch, and you know what? All they do is sleep and eat all day, and they spend more money on grocery bills than they, 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 than they paid me a week, and I'm sick of it. If your name's not Jarrett, and if your name's not Marlon, they don't care if you live and die around here, and that's the God's gospel, people. That's the God's gospel. And you know what it adds to me? Randy. All my hard work, and you stay away from me. You know what all my hard work did? You know what? It, have you ever been broke? Have you ever been broke, Dave? Randy, no. Well, fortunately, I haven't. Let, let, let me just tell you this. Randy, you got some problems. Let me tell you what those I didn't know it. Let's, let's let go me, back in the back. Let me tell about. you what the problems are. I got a for from my apartment. I got my car repos repossessed. I'm dead broke. You can have that because there's sure not any money in there. That's what happened, Dave. That's what happened. Randy, I, I didn't know all of this. I did, and 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 I'm your friend. Let's go talk about it, Corey. I'm gonna. Let, if, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, after I left, this, I didn't take a leave of absence. I told the people. I told them to shove it. I quit. And what's happened in the five weeks I've been gone? These shows are horrible, and you know it. The talents are horrible. Randy? Who's out here? People like Mr. Coffee. How about him? Everybody. Randy, knows he's a, I'm gonna ask you to go to the back. You got some problems. Yeah, let's talk about it. I'm gonna, if I have to, I'm gonna ask security to take you back in the back, Randy. You're the only, you stay out of this because you're the only person in the world been good to me. But you know this needs to be said, and I'm gonna say it. What are you gonna do to get I me said out of I am gonna ask security. If I have to, I don't want to do Let that. Let me tell you, come on. He's gonna have security get me out of here. What have you ever done? What have you ever done? I've got my head busted out of this company. That security, bring the security on. You think they can do anything about it? I've gotten his. What can they do to me? They gonna hit me? Are they gonna hit me? Are they gonna hit me? Come on, Randy! Uh, James, somebody go do it. Let's take a break. <laughs> bench for SNK's double play sale. Why shop the department stores when SNK has thousands of suits on sale? Right now you can take home two SNK suits for less than you'd expect to pay for one department store suit. These are great looking wool blend suits you can wear year round and you get two for under 200 bucks. So pick up your next double play at SNK because if you go to a department store, you're gonna strike out. Four area locations at Eastgate Shopping Center, Germantown, Bartlett, and Hickory Hill. Shopping for a sport utility vehicle? Well, before you decide on one, check this out. 
The Isuzu Rodeo, yours right now for just $198 a month with no down payment. Looking for more? Rodeo's got it. More cargo room and safety than Blazer, more comfort than Jeep Cherokee, and more power than Forerunner and Explorer. The Isuzu Rodeo, it has more than all the others, and it's yours for just $198 a month with no down payment. Get one today at your Isuzu dealers. We're building a lot of great things here in Memphis, like the reputation for service and value from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. You can save up to 50% on your car insurance. At Bill Blake, you get instant SR22 filing with low monthly payments. Solve your car insurance problems and save money. Call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. It was delivered at 6.35 p.m. It's a thin crust. We're introducing Papa John's new thin crust pizza. The same great ingredients that made our original pizza famous. Piled high in a lighter, crisper crust. Of course, we're pretty proud. There she is. That's our latest. Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Get a large, one-topping pizza, original or new thin crust for just $8.99. All right, uh, we're back here. We're going to take a look now at uh, USWA action on tour. It begins tonight. Milan, Tennessee, Milan High School is tonight. Eight o'clock is bell time. There's a list of uh, everything that's signed for tonight up in Milan, Tennessee. High school, the King, Jerry Lawler there, Colorado Kid, Brickhouse Brown, David Haskins, Dr. Death, Crush Your Bones, all signed as the USWA comes to Milan, Tennessee. A lot of great fans around Milan. We look for you there tonight. Eight o'clock is bell time at the Milan High School. Gonna be a big night of USWA wrestling tonight, right up there in Milan. Hey, Monday night, I am uh, as pleased as punch to say we're back to Monday Night Wrestling is back Monday night at the Big One Expo Center. Coming in is special referee, handsome Jimmy Valiant. And not only that, he's going to be involved in the big Monday night rumble down at the big one, Monday night. We know that Monday nights and wrestling go together like two peas in a pot. We're looking forward to the return of Monday night wrestling at the big one, 7.30 bell time. We'll look for you down there Monday night. Friday night, October 25th, Jonesboro, Arkansas for USWA Wrestling in Jonesboro. Auditorium, 8 o'clock is bell time. You'll see the unified champion Colorado Kid, the king of Jerry Lawler on the card, the Dundee, Too Sexy, Brian Christopher, all in Jones the Auditorium, Friday, October 25th. Saturday, October 26th, Henderson, Tennessee. Chester County High School, back in Henderson. Been a long time since we've been to Henderson. We'll be returning with the USWA. 8 o'clock bell time right there to Chester County High School. Jerry Lawler, Brian Christopher, Whoopie D, Colorado Kid, Bill and Jamie Dundee. We'll have more on that spectacular card that's coming to Henderson, Tennessee, as the time goes along. West Helen, Arkansas, Lady Luck Casino already signed for Wednesday, October the 30th at the Lady Luck Pavilion Entertainment Center. Psycho Sid Vicious on the card. And a boy from New York City, handsome Jimmy Valley. Now that, my friend, is you. SWA Championship Wrestling on Tour. Nothing in the world like being right there, seeing it live when it comes to your hometown. Right now, I want to call out and talk to one of the favorites around the USWA. Here he is, Psycho Sid Fisher. Want to get him up here. Talk to Sid. Hadn't seen him in a long time. Back in action here in the USWA, Sid Fisher. Boy, it's glad to be here. I'm as good to be here. It's glad to see you. I just want to take 30 seconds of your time and you people's time. See, the big deal is all my fan mail that's been coming in and stuff, it's not so much to do with how you've been doing, Sid. But the question was, I got out of my limo the other night in New York. On the way up to the building, I heard fans say, do you got a brother down in Memphis called Johnny Rotten? Johnny Rotten. See, that's been the big question. Is Johnny Rotten your brother? Is Johnny Rotten your brother? Yes, he is my brother! And see, Lawler, you, Bill Dundee, and all the people here at the USWA that I have 
hang you with. See, I can't be here all the time because I am in the World Wrestling Federation, but my heart is here in the USWA. And see, when I'm not here, he will be here, and he's coming after you, Lawler, you, Don Dundee, and everybody else that wants a part of me. Now I have to take a little part of him, Corey. That's right. You know, they always say, Corey, family sticks together. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to do whatever it takes in the USWA to take care of those goose, Lawler, Dundee, you name it. If they got a thing for Big Sid, they got to deal with me when he's not here, and I guarantee you, I can take care of business. All, All right. right. Hey, it's been brought to the table and uh, confirmed the brother Sid Vicious, Johnny Rod. We're going to have Psycho Sid Vicious. He'll be back with us, but he'll be in the ring in action. When the USWA return, we'll be back to it. Don't go away. The action, the excitement, the tradition, it's back. USWA Wrestling returns to Monday night, this Monday night and every Monday night at the Big One Expo Center on Hollywood. This week, the USWA celebrates with a super spectacular card. Meet all the USWA stars in the food court at 6 p.m. and watch a special one-hour video presentation of classic Monday night memories. Video matches, it's going to be great. Fans will be chosen to be guest announcers, guest timekeepers, guest judges. Can you believe this the action includes a monday night battle royal a special challenge match with brian christopher against sir whoopie d the colorado kid defending the unified world heavyweight title the uswa tag team the titles are being held up we're going to decide who is going to be the new tag team champions between jamie dundee superstar bill dundee and brian christopher and sir whoopie d and the special referee is handsome jimmy valiant monday night wrestling is back catch the action as memphis most famous monday night tradition returns at the big one x Center, it's gonna be wild. In Tennessee, blue's the color that describes the things we've come to depend on, which explains why, in the past 40 years, more Tennesseans have chosen Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee for their health insurance. Get the security card. Choose Blue, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield of Tennessee. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and theft repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Dennis Hall. For the best prices in town, come on down. You're crushing that man. You and what army? This one. <laughs> the factory is here. Now you can make your own mini vac army. It's easy. Just connect a vacling warrior to the factory. Fill him up. Pop on any head you choose. And your new mini back army is ready to rumble! Yeah! The factory! From Cap Toys, who else? It's time to drive more. Ford Taurus. More car than Camry or Accord. A V6 engine. More standard power. Safety cell construction and standard dual airbags. More safety. Ford Taurus. Mm, more car. And your Ford dealer will prove it. Just test drive a Taurus, and if you still buy a Camry or Accord, they'll pay you $100. But if you buy a Taurus, you'll get $2,000 cash back. The Taurus Test Drive Challenge at your local Ford dealer. Encouraging you to drive more. stories are always on Action News 5. Citizens like you and me got the chance to ask President Clinton and Senator Bob Dole questions that matter to many of us. First video. We're with the Vice President. We don't have much time this evening, so we're going to get right to it. Senator Dole took you on uh, a couple of times specifically. The best coverage. Some people say you're, you're worried about losing this state. Others say you're already thinking ahead to the 2000 campaign, which is it. It's coverage you can count on every day. Dave, darling, I saw your grilled chicken sandwich commercial the other day and you looked fabulous. Anyway, I had to try one. 
Honey, it was delicious. The whole breast filet is bigger, plumper, and juicier than ever. And they made it fresh right when I ordered it. Dave, just between us, it was so good I had to. Don't tell. Love and kisses, Iman. You know Iman? When you got it, you got it. Try Wendy's new plumper, juicier grilled chicken sandwich. Harold Grader hosts Sports Sunday, Sunday at 10.30 on Action News 5. All right. Hey, we're just about set to go here. Corey's in the ring. Mike Samples is here. The Unified Champion's coming up soon. Here's Corey. Okay, Dave, we're ready for 269 pounds, Lexington, Kentucky. Here is Mike Samples. His opponent today, the current Unified World Heavyweight Champion, 231 pounds, making his way to the ring area now from Boulder, Colorado, the Colorado Kid. Now, down for no referee for this one. We're ready. Every time I look at that guy, I want to throw up. The Colorado Kid has the Unified World title around his waist. Who did he beat for it? Well, he beat Jerry Lawler for it. And that's a couple hey, of weeks even ago. Start that, Dave. Well, I, I just thought factual reporting here. I needed to point that out. Referee downtown Bruno handing the belt out of the ring, and here we go. Colorado Kid. This is a non-title match, by the way. You Mike know why? Sample. Because the Colorado Kid's a coward. No, no, I don't think that's true. It just wasn't booked as a title match. That's all there is to it. Mike Samples going to the headlock. Samples would love to win the match because if he can defeat the Colorado Kid, even though it's a non-title match, well, that moves him way up on the list of people who get a shot at the belt. Come on, Mike. Don't just worry about getting a shot at the belt. Just punch his lights out. That's what I want to see. Look at this idiot, this Colorado Kid. See, who's the first one to throw a fist right there, huh? Yeah, after Mike Sample, he's been waiting at Whoa. Good drop kick. Nice one by Colorado Kid. And Mike Sample's back to the corner for wait a minute. He'd like to call timeout like Reggie B. Fine tried oh. to do earlier in the match. Look at this Colorado kid go. I'm not impressed by him one little bit, Dave. He looks like a long, stringy-haired idiot. I think he's a perfect example of why cousins shouldn't marry. Have you ever seen his parents? Colorado kid wears the uniform oh, yeah. world title. Down to the mat goes Mike Samples. Back on his feet in the corner. Colorado kid whips him across the way, on, jumps him over the back, and Mike Samples found himself looking straight up at the lights. Boy, there are a lot of lights up there. Oh, get this confusing this guy thinks he's one of the Von Erics or something with his claw deal. Going Come on, ref. Been That's illegal. He's out of the ropes. Break the hole. Yep, he's going to have to break it. Referee, correct call by referee downtown Bruno back in the ropes, and he did have to break the hole. So the match continues. Mike Sample trying to take the measure of the unified champion. Yeah, listen to these people. Go, kid, go. Go, kid, go. That's right. Go, kid, go and take that idiot Burt Prentice with you. Get him out of here. No, oh, you don't want him to go yet because he'd take the belt with him. He's the unified champion. Not for long, believe me. Not for long. Mike Samples pulling hair, warned about it by the referee. Come on, Mike. Samples whipped across the ring. Bounces in the corner. Colorado Kid follows with a shoulder. Sample just rolled down to the mat. I'm not sure what the kid should go on immediately for that count of three. We've seen that happen yep. in every match today. He drops down on him. There's the cover. One, two, no, he can't make it stick. Only a two count. That's the problem with a kid. He's got no power. Sure, he spends tons of time in the gym lifting those weights and everything. Well, ooh, there you go. There you go. Take those legs out, and I don't care how big his arms are. That's not going to help him. Mike Samples put the twist on that toe hold. I thought for a minute he was going to convert to a step over toe hold and really put some long term pressure on it, but instead he goes for the knee. Good idea, yes. Look at Mike, headbutts, everything. Samples taking the cheap shot, going after the knee. See, all of these fans, they, 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 they even quit cheering Go Kid Go because they realize it's not going to help him. He's beat. He's beat right here today. I wish he'd had the belt at stake. I'd like to see Mike Samples beat him for the belt. And then you know what I think? Oh! Hey! He's not beat yet. Colorado Kid leaves Samples lying on the mat. The kid is up on the rope. Look out, Mike! Samples staggers to his feet. The kid springs. 
He missed, but he recovers and grabs him. Down to the mat goes Samples. Hey, 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 here we go. I think that was just a two count. But Trailer Park Crash has jumped in there on Colorado Kid. And the referee is going to disqualify Mike Samples. Blasting, Look at Samples. Blasting. Right no. Oh, he hit the, He hit Trailer Park. The Colorado Kid wisely rolls out of the ring. Great move by the a Colorado coward Kid. coward that he is. Great move. The best move he made all day, getting out of the ring. It's two against one, and the best thing to do is get out of there when you've got guys like Mike Samples and this Trailer Park guy who are doubling up on you. And now the referee downtown Bruno said something to Mike Samples. Samples acted like he was going to go after him. He takes Trailer Park and Toe and the two of them head back for the dressing room area. Let's go over to Corey and uh, Wolfie D. I know I'm not supposed to be out here right now. But Corey, as you know, I've been in this business for about seven years and there's a saying Believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. Well, I'm not believing what I just saw out here a few minutes ago with Randy Hales. You know, me and Frank Morell and Randy, we all rode together for about two years, so I know Randy real well. I know his family, and I knew he was having problems, but I did not think that he was going to come out here on television and do what he just did. I'm really not believing that. This is a good guy, y'all. This is a real good guy. And I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know what's going on here, but that's not Randy Hales. You know, I've got a little girl who's one years old, and out of everybody in this wrestling business, when she turned one, Randy was the only guy that gave my little girl a present for her birthday. That's they, right, cuz who cares? Get out of here. Hey, you oh, should, come you on. Speak, you don't talk about hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. Now, now, Randy, you, you are the root of all my problems. No, no, no. I had money and I had cars too. I started associating with you. Yeah! yeah. 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 You're the root of all my problems. What did I do, Randy? You worked hard at this business. How do, how do you feel? How do you feel that I took all that from you? You took. Uh, that's what Lawler. Lawler and I talked about in that that break that he told. Well, look what Lawler said. Lawler talks about my kid. Having problems. Lawler talks about one-year-old little babies, and I tell you what, that'll get your brains beat out. Billy, don't listen to him. What? Who's your friend here? Who's you're, your friend? You're certainly not. You were my friend when I was the boss and had a Cadillac. You darn sure hadn't been my friend. Have you called me? Yes, I have, but you are never there. You don't answer your phone. You said you didn't want nobody from the wrestling business calling you. Even when I did call, you were never there, well, Randy. The truth of the matter is that you should kiss the ground I walk on, because if it wouldn't have been for me, Wolfie D, you wouldn't be nothing. You would you'd still be in the hood, because I made you. What was made you, you third Wait a second. You didn't make me. What you did is you gave me to carry the ball. Oh, come on, guys. You know that, Wolfie D? Oh, you know that That's what I've been saying. You're nobody's friend. He's not been your friend. He made you like he said he did. Everything he says is true. You're the stinking liar right here. You're nobody's friend. You don't need don't, to be out here stirring up. You're more of an idiot than he is. Yeah, the whole time I've been around wrestling, no, he's the biggest the idiot. Criminal no, you're the idiot. You always came late. You always. I hate both of y'all. You both. Or oh, what's up? No. No. Did you do things wrong? I've been your friend. He's a backstabber. He's nobody's friend. Hey, Randy, turn around here. Listen to me for a second. Listen to me. Listen to me for just a second. Am I right? Both of these guys are bums. They don't deserve to be around. Hey. I'm trying to tell you, I'm your friend. He's Let's nobody's go. friend. Oh, hey, he don't even know your friend. Hey, we still got it. Hey, all right, all right, that's it. That is it. Get him out of here. You two guys, too. Both. Come on. Look, come on. You don't I'm ready right now. I'm ready right now for you. All right, get out of here. Everybody else is out of here. We're taking our break. Hi, I'm Joyce Peterson, Action News 5's education reporter. When you need help with homework, call 325-5050. That's the number to the Action News 5 homework hotline. And this year, you can call a half hour earlier. From 4.30 to 9, these teachers are here to help. So pick up the phone and call 325-5050. The 10th anniversary year of the Action News 5 homework hotline is a part of TV5's Action for Education and is sponsored by Piggly Wiggly and the UT Medical Group. Two, one, don't blink. Sky 
air racers, incredible airborne radio control vehicles. You build an amazing neon network and control your sky racer with a powerful remote. Use your grappling hook and retractable rescue transporter. The sky racers go anywhere. Fast. When it comes to speed, the sky's the limit. Sky racers from Cap Toys, each sold separately. Welcome to CNW Auto Sales and Salvage. We specialize in the lowest price and the best service on all glass and column repair. Motors, rotors, starters, radiators, front caps, all at the best price. I'm Easy Money. I'm Jamming Joel. Without a question. We're your parts connection. Let, Let us hook, hook you up. up. Hi, I'm Wanda Cat, owner of CNW Auto Sales and Salvage, and I'll pay you cash for your old junk car. We crush the competition! Sport Utility Shoppers, check this out. The Isuzu Rodeo, yours right now for just $1.98 a month with no down payment. Get one today at your Isuzu dealers. Here we grow again. It's a grand opening celebration for two new Fleming Furniture stores in Cordova and on Winchester at Germantown Road. Grand opening savings and special terms at all eight Fleming stores. For extra benefits like eye and dental care for adults, free job readiness counseling, and some over-the-counter medicines free, call to see how you can team up with TLC. I got uh, this out there. I'll get them all out well, of here. Well, we've got them out of here temporarily, but uh, watch the doors. Let's take a look at that uh, Memphis card, if we can, at the uh, the Big One Expo Center. Here we go. Uh, Monday night. It's Monday night wrestling yeah, back Monday again night. at the Big One Expo Center. That's, uh, of course, at, on uh, Hollywood at exit 5 on 240 North. Meet all the USWA superstars in the food court at 6 o'clock and all other special things. Fans are going to be chosen to participate in some of the activities there that night. Opening match of the night, it's Monday Night Rumble time. You'll see Stephen Dunn going against Dennis Cooley. Super Mario will be going against Tony Falk. Tag match, Mike Samples and Trailer Park Trash team up. Taking on Sean Venom and Bart Sawyer. USWA tag titles, belts have been held up, special ref. Referee, handsome, Jimmy Valiant. Handsome. Brian, Christopher, and Wolfie D. Can they make that team work? I don't know. They're going to be going against the Dundees in the match. Then, <laughs> unified world title match day when Sir Mo of Men on a Mission, he comes in and challenges Colorado Kid Monday night. I talked to Sir Mo just this morning. He is going to squash the Colorado Kid once and for all. He's going to squash him. Special. Take that belt up to the WWF. Special challenge match comes up after that. Brian Christopher goes against Wolfie D, but that's not all. Gonna bring a whole bunch of them back into Monday Night Rumble Battle Royal. In this Battle Royal, the way it starts, you have two men start, and ever so often, they'll send more, more people to the ring. 17 guys in all. The way you're eliminated is thrown over the top rope. Last man standing wins and wins $5,000. Hey, and not only that, Handsome Jimmy we mentioned is going to be in a special referee Monday night, but he's also involved in that big battle royal rumble that's going to take place Monday night at the Look, Big who's this like? Whoa, mercy, baby! Oh. Mercy. He's going to be there. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Watch the doors. What's really scary is missing this Covington Pike Chrysler sale. Look at these tremendous savings. 96 program Sears, automatic air and more on sale for just $13,995. Only $13,995. 96 program Grand Voyagers on sale with automatic air and more from $16,995. Don't miss this sale. Don't gamble with your car insurance. Make the sure bet on a winning hand from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. They're dealing straight with savings up to 50% on your car insurance. For low monthly payments on your car insurance, call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and theft repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Dennis Hall. 
for the best prices in town. Come on down. Eilig Myers Three Day Credit Bonanza this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Three big days, three big bonuses. Simply make any purchase this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we'll make your down payment for you. Plus, make no payment till next year. Plus, every single application for credit will be accepted. Plus, with Eilig Myers lowest price guarantee, you'll save in every department. Eilig Myers Three Day Credit Bonanza. It's all right here in black and white. Okay, coming up now, one fall to the expiration of our time, 237 pounds, he says. He's from all over the country because his home is mobile. Here is Trailer Park Trash. the man, Dave. Trailer Park Trash. His opponent today, 297 pounds, wrestling out of Marion, Arkansas, Psycho Sid Feature. Expiration of our time, downtown Trino is referee. I think this is a good time for Trailer Park Trash to become mobile. If I was him, I'd uh, be glad my house was on wheels right now. Yeah, he, he made me need to move rather quickly here today because he's going against Psycho Sid. There he is. Truly is psycho. You know what? I mean, he's not all there. He's about, yeah, look at this. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering about the sanity of Trailer Park, too, to tap Sid on the back like that when Sid's oh. talking to the fans. Oh, my goodness. Sid Get out of there, regroup! He slapped the taste out of Trailer Park Trash's mouth. Yep. Whoa, there you go. Good move, good move. Good and, move. And, uh, whoo! Trailer Park decided he wanted to get out of there for a moment. He'll be sucking soup through a straw down through a Waffle House with that blue. He's got a hot little number down that works at Waffle House. Well, once again, he jumps uh, Sid from behind. Yeah, pound him! Oh, oh no, oh. look out! I'm not going to stop it. Psycho Sid. Well, I'll there's a, there's he does a, that again, and I'll get in there. There's a little editorial for the king, I think. Psycho Sid, look Somebody out. Yeah, yeah, come on, Here baby. comes Mike Samples. Yeah, look out, Mike. Mike. All right. Clutch. Referee is called for the bell due to outside interference. Run away. Run away. Mike. Run away. Mike wants yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. He wants get to him, talk to Sid. Him. Trailer Park tries nails yeah, it from behind him. You want me to go I, help him now? Well, I'm not sure the two of them are Is he going to do it? I'm not. Yeah. They're talking oh. Sid. Oh, my oh, yeah. goodness. Johnny Rodgers is in to help out. These two guys are the twin towers here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Trader Park in some trouble now. No. My goodness gracious, referee is no. trying to stop it. Johnny Rotten picking up trailer park. Mike Samples crawling around on the floor out here. He was dispatched rather quickly. Now, a power bomb him right in the center of the ring. A double off of power bomb him. Get him out of there, Mike! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! Mike Samples grabs him by a boot, trying to pull him out of the ring. He gets him over to the apron. Hey, I got some out. business to attend to in the back. Yeah, Randy I got to do me. too. Sit, sit. See, that's what I'm talking about, E.J. Lawler. This guy right here, from this day forward, will be taking up the business that I can't, and you on top of the list. Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, Johnny Rotten, a very tall, very rugged team as they head out of here. We're going to head out for a moment. We'll take a break, but that's not all. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Psycho Hi, folks, Bob Burkheimer from Sunrise Pontiac GMC Truck. The 97s are in at Sunrise, and the selection, savings, and values just keep getting bigger and better. Hundreds of new 96 and 97 Pontiacs and GMCs to choose from, discounts high as six and $7,000, immediate financing with next to nothing down, a $2 million used car inventory with cars for every budget, plus a lot specializing in cars and trucks under $49.95. Free hot dogs, Cokes, and balloons for the kids. Don't miss out. Get rolling to Covington Pike and see for yourself why Sunrise is the number one volume Pontiac and GMC dealer in 47 states. Serious damage to your engine can happen during startups when your engine is cold. 
So for a motor oil to protect your engine, it must get to work fast. Exxon Superflow Synthetic Blend does. It also protects better against thermal breakdown, yet is less expensive than full synthetics. A difference you can see. Exxon Superflow Synthetic Blend. Protection beyond conventional oils. Crushing that man. You and what army? This one. <laughs> the factory is here. Now you can make your own mini vac army. It's easy. Just connect a vacling warrior to the factory. Fill him up. Pop on any head you choose. And your new mini vac army is ready to rumble. Yeah. The factory from Cap Toys. Who else? Frontier Ranch Supply Western Store 4890 Lamar is the place for your cowboy loving two-step and needs. Choose from our huge selection of Western wear and check out our brand name boots. Abilene, Laredo, Nakona, Cowtown, and Wolverine work boots, just to name a few. And our collection of saddlery and riding equipment is tough to beat. Looking for that perfect souvenir? Our fun assortment of rodeo t-shirts, ball caps, and posters make great gifts. Or take off your hat for Cowboy Bob's stylish custom hat shaping. Frontier Ranch Supply Western Store 4890 Lamar. Family owned and operated since 1967. All right, it All was... Right. Hey, listen, I've just talked back there to Randy Hales, and now he's... You know, everything that Randy said out there is true. He has lost his car, he's lost his job, he's lost everything. I'm going to make sure that Randy gets to these towns. Randy will be at the matches this week. He's going to be there Monday night. He's going to be... I, if I have to drive him there personally, I'll get him there. Do you understand? Yeah, well, Randy, I'm your only talk, friend you got. I've well, been talking to him and filling his head up with all that stuff and having him come down here today interrupting the program. I didn't have him come Randy, down here. You talked Randy to him is, this past week. And Randy is our friend, stuff. too, and, and you need to keep him under control. Randy obviously needs some help. I'll try yeah, to talk to him when we get I'll off tell you who needs some help. Brian Christopher and Wolfie D, they're going to need some help Monday night. And handsome Jimmy Valiant, you better watch your step, pal. There's going to be a lot of guys in that battle royal with you Monday night. You could walk, well, you could be carried out instead of walking out of there. Oh, boy. That's right. Do we have time? Hey, Randy, come on. Come on, Randy. They hey, no. Hey, come on, Randy. No, 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 no. Hey, we got to get out of here. Talk about what now. Will you make sure they know? I told him, Randy. The truth is, Wolfie D, Brian Christopher, and these two people. Randy? Look at them. No. They come to TV every week. You know what they did? They tell me, I like this, and I like this, and you shouldn't have this. Dave Brown thinks he's a big shot. Okay, 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 okay. Randy. You think you're a big shot here. Randy, Randy, come on. This is not the time for this. The Don't do this. Come on, Randy. You call me in your office. You call me in Randy, come on. Office. Randy, you know that's not the way it goes down now. Week. Give us the microphone. Come on. We're out of time. We'll be back next week for Corey Macklin and for Jerry Lawler. I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.